eradicate my plan, who come using is a Camisan, it's a B175 size 14. Just using a fine black thread. A Uni 8 oh, would be ideal. And all I'm going to do is put down a layer of thread along the shank. Stop it just before the barb and then remove the waste piece. So I've done that. Tail is a golden pheasant crest feather. Uh, just, a, just a small feather. And one here. All I do is like in this one there's a lot of twists so you see it doesn't sit too well but what you do is hold the tail length you want which is about the length of the body just tie it on the top allow the twist to come into this part of the feather and not into the tail now what I like to do is take a turn underneath just to slightly lift it, lift the fibres especially in a small fly and then pull it into the size that you like Looks a bit okay, that's fine. You can have it shorter or whatever, whatever length you like. Let me quite look. That's okay. Now, as you see, I've trimmed it the full length of the body. And then I'm going to tie in a small oval silver tinsel. You could use a wire if you want, it's up to yourself. And just tie it again the full length of the body. And what I like to do at this point is just quickly run up and back down tying them in. Leave that space at the top here, at least a millimetre or so. This is for your head and your hackle, front hackle. And then come back down. Uh, body, in this case I'm going to be using black seals for. You could use SLF or whatever you, whatever you have, any any black fibre, even you could, you know, it's getting away from the traditional fibre. You could even use some rabbit, black rabbit, which would not do it any harm, but it's not just as shiny as the seals for, but or uh, the SLF, or mix it. Do a wee mix or a blend. It certainly works. Just take it down. Put on some sort of shape. And then I'm just going to use this is a saddle, hackle dyed black. You could use a Chinese neck, cock neck if you want. I'm just going to use this saddle. Just tie it on the side. I always like to do a turn at the top and then three turns down the body. And then come up with my rib. And to my fourth turn here. Just going to break away the hackle. At this point I like to draw back the fibres just to get them to sit right. And bring up this last turn. Bring it beside the thread and put a ninth degree bend into it. So lock in these turns. Trim away the excess. And then simply just tidy up that area. Got a wax on it. Just to see how it's sitting. Now it doesn't look too good just now, but a wee bit a rough up with the, the velcro. In my view, makes it a better fishing fly. Sometimes the roughest, the rougher fly, the better, the better it fishes. That yeah, looks okay. Now you could use a cock hackle in front if you want, but I'm going to use what traditionally used as a hen hackle. In this case, it's a, it's a, it's a light red or dark ginger, depending on who you call it. Now, don't be shy with the length of the fibre. You want it longer. Than the body hackle. You want it to sort of like form like a taper when it's certainly when it's wet. And tie it in by the tip, just pull the fibres back. And then there should be a wax on here. A couple of turns down, fold the tip of the hen hackle back. And then break it. Usually hold the thread tight and break it off. And it's just a matter then of uh, use your hackle pliers and wind it on, which is norm, but I like to just wind the hackle on, just bringing it around and then holding it while I wind. Take your time to get enough hackle. Do we see? Don't be shy, I like a reasonable hackle. 
especially at the front. Cross your thread, ninth degree bend into the stem, which will again will help lock in the tight turns. And just fold this back for strength. Just hold it back. And keeping the thread tight, hold it and break it off the waist piece. And then again, I just keep the thread tight and then come straight into quick finish and trim away. And there we are. Just open it a wee bit so you can see the shape. Just draw the fibres back just a bit just to see how the fly sits. There we are. And then all we need is some varnish. Apply it all the way around. Now I'm using a brush. A needle would be maybe easier on the smaller fly. And it's just a matter of cleaning out the eye. I don't mind doing this because it seals up the head area. You can use a wee feather if you've got one line. Yeah. Remains of one anyway. Put through the hole and that cleans it all. There you go. That's the Kate McLaren. They say it's a very popular fly here in the UK in Ireland. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And that's the famous Kate McLaren. Thank you.